If we look at the different product types available, we can see the variation in fibre and manufacturing techniques. This is a coconut fibre blanket. The fibres are laid randomly and contained within a loose net. This is also coconut fibre, but is woven into an open mesh. Different fibres will have different properties in terms of durability and performance in given climates. For example, coconut fibre is quite durable in tropical conditions, whereas jute fibre is very good for revegetation works. Jute fibre is used in this example. The manufacturing technique is the same. This product comes in large bales and cannot be rolled. This is a close-up of jute fibre that is needled together into a blanket. It is supplied in rolls. By varying the mass of fibre, you get either a revegetation blanket or a weed suppressant blanket. The heavier instances are used for weeds. To increase the resistance to water flow, a coconut blanket may have a geogrid attached. For example, unprotected embankments will suffer erosion as the water runs down. Such embankments are extremely common in road infrastructure. Apart from damaging the embankment, soil runoff can cause a hazard on the road by making it more slippery in the wet. By protecting the slope, you reduce the soil loss. Again, the new root systems will hold the soil together over the long term. When installing erosion control products on gentle slopes, engineers must be concerned that the product is in contact with the ground in all places, no voids or channels form under the product allowing uncontrolled water flow, Sufficient topsoil with appropriate nutrients exists before installation. The type of vegetation to be supported and its method of application, for example, is the vegetation seeded before application of the product or after. The product is pinned into place, consistent with the manufacturer's guidelines and environmental conditions. Ultimately, erosion protection is provided by the new vegetation. Its root structure provides strength to the soil to hold it in place, and the vegetation cover provides shelter from the wind and rain. On steeper slopes, when the flow is still low, more robust solutions are needed. In areas where the water flow is higher or more concentrated, such as on steeper slopes, swales and shallow roadside channels, a higher level of soil protection is required. Vegetation is still the best form of erosion control in these applications, but a stronger form of engineered product is often needed to support it. Soil on steeper slopes is more susceptible to erosion. In some instances, when not protected, it can even slough off en masse. Similarly, many of the engineered products used on gentle slopes are not effective when the angles are greater and flow is higher. The products can break up and separate from the surface. For these more challenging applications, Products must be fixed more securely, and they must be inherently more robust. Biodegradable products are rarely used in these situations. Consider some examples. Here is a low-velocity drainage channel. It contains no vegetation and offers less resistance to erosion, particularly in storm events. A geosynthetic can be used to promote vegetation in the drainage channel. The root systems will hold the soil in place at higher velocities. A man-made creek in a housing development is lined by a geocell and geotextile. The geocell will hold the infill material in place at higher flow. 
the establishment of root systems will further enhance the performance of the system. The result can be very effective and unobtrusive, but when a storm event occurs, it provides far better performance than an unlined channel. Extremely steep slopes may require soils to stand steeper than they naturally would. In this instance, a geocell is used to hold the veneer of soil in place and support vegetation growth. Application of the geocell must be carefully designed to ensure stability. In areas unlikely to establish vegetation, erosion products may still be used to protect embankments and infrastructure. When higher strength is required, the engineered products used are often manufactured with polymeric material. Collectively, they can be described as erosion control mats and are three-dimensional in nature. There are many different variations with different strengths and thicknesses, often including a reinforcing layer. Polymeric materials offer greater durability and lifespan. They remain in place for a number of years to properly establish the vegetation and can withstand more severe weather events. The three-dimensional nature is designed to enable soil to fill the voids. The root systems that develop will intertwine with the synthetic fibres and increase resistance to pull out in flow conditions. Adding a reinforcing layer, in this instance a gabion wire mesh, increases the strength of the three-dimensional mat and allows it to be used on steeper slopes without tearing. The three-dimensional products are flexible and can be used in other applications including being coated with concrete in irrigation channels. When installing higher strength products for erosion control, engineers must consider how the product is secured. Often it needs to be anchored at the top of the slope and the intensity and depth of pinning needs to be carefully designed and consistent with manufacturer's guidelines. Minimizing ultraviolet exposure, sunlight, to maintain durability and maximize effective working life. Effective cover and soil penetration a three-dimensional product is designed to hold soil within its profile to help it maintain the integrity of the soil surface. A flexible three-dimensional mat is being installed in a road edge drain designed to accommodate significant volume in a low flow environment. The mat is held down with pins to ensure intimate contact with the soil beneath. Topsoil is placed onto the three-dimensional mat and grass seed is sprayed on top through a process called hydro-seeding. The result is a grass-lined channel that can withstand flows to within the designed tolerance. Another example is a steeper embankment where the three-dimensional mat is pinned down the slope face. It is also pinned along the top of the slope to prevent the mat sliding down the slope. Covering the mat with soil and mulch creates the environment for seeds to germinate. Again, the end result is a vegetated and stable embankment that provides good support to the roadway above. In this instance, the slope is steeper again, requiring heavier connection details. After infilling with soil, a wire mesh is placed on top to further hold the soil in place. The steep gradient enables more concentrated use of available space. Once established, the vegetation will enhance aesthetics by hiding the construction detail. 